athletes and families during tournaments. That's where he's learned many color games and built some strong bonds with the team. After hockey, he'd like to stay away from going to a trade. Although he is currently excited in his future, and he likes to make that he's extremely excited to come back to the rink and see his number of many young players. Because we all know we're going to retire with him after this year. On a real note, he'd like to thank his parents and family for always supporting the dedication to him to every game possible. And thank his teammates for the memories he's made. My time playing hockey may have been short, but the eyes and settings experience I will remember forever. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say thank you for your time. With me today is Wade Parker, who just grabbed his microphone. How you doing, Wade? Oh, a little nippy today, but better yeah. than the last time we were here. We're videotaping this on Sunday, the 6th of February, 2022. <laughs> As I said, we are videotaping this on Sunday, the 6th of February, 2022, and it's a chilly day, but not as bad as it was two weeks ago. And coming in, it should be a pretty good matchup today. The number two team, Ice Wolves, against the number four, Medina. Medina B is the green team. I forgot to even look if they played them before or not, but I don't see it on yeah. there, so. I believe they have, just to, they had to, re they had to play it um, a postponed game. Well, I don't see it on here, so I'm going to go in with what I got. And, uh, so far as this season, it, like I said, this might be a good uh, scoring game. The Ice Wolves are 71 and 32 for goals for and against. Medina's 78 and 21 on goals for and against. But we're going to go down to the far end and a penalty real quick on the Ice Wolves. Did not want to do that, but. As I've said throughout the few games that we have been able to do this season, that uh, Ice Wolves on the penalty kill are just deadly shorthanded. <laughs> Here we go with another one, another shorthanded breakaway shot right into the gullet of the of the goaltender. The uh, Ice Wolves played them on the 30th, which was last Sunday, 
and the ice was one four two up at Medina. Okay, there it is. He had it highlighted, so I thought we didn't play him yet. <laughs> and it doesn't say, and it doesn't say final. So, oh, that's right. Probably doesn't. That's I on just, me. I just put it in. But the ice was penalty kill unit so far got the lone shot on goal. Still a buck and a half to go in the penalty. And we've seen them be quite deadly with breakaways and scoring opportunities shorthanded. And I'd like to see them keep that up. But Medina's is holding it in and had a shot on goal. And there's another one and knocked away on there by Rickard. Still in the left corner is Medina. Battling down there with the Ice Wolves. And they almost got it cleared. Stopped up at the blue line. Another save by Rickert. Goes to the back wall. Cleared out of the zone. Great job by the Ice Wolves. Hopefully we don't see another icing like we did in the one game. Called icing on a penalty kill, which I still have never figured out. Well, that was incorrect. <coughs> they shouldn't have called that. The Ice Wolves control again. Get it out to center and in they come. And Oh, he got tripped up. No call. Everybody over there moaning for a call and not going to get it. 35 seconds left to go in the penalty. Ice Wolves still controlling in the Medina zone. Looking to get out. And they dump it deep. And that's going to be icing. That's going to come right back to our circle. But he's skating toward the other side. So... Everybody came here, too, knowing that it was shot from this corner, but he's going to go way over there for some reason. But I understand it started out really well this season. Oh, they now he's coming over Seven here. straight wins to start off the season, but then they went through a period of three losses. They did have a couple of wins, but they were two of the teams at the bottom of the division. Now they did do the faceoff on the right side. 20 seconds left to go on the penalty for the Ice Wolves. So far, a great kill. They've given up a few shots on it, but did manage to get one. Ten seconds left in the penalty. And beautiful clear all the way down to the right corner. Go off the backboard. Tallied up there by the Medina. 76 McMahon trying to clear that out. Gets it out of the zone. But here come the Ice Wolves full strength. Dump it into the little corner right in front of us. Knocked around the right. And played out there by Medina. The Ice Wolves keep it in at the, up at the corner. Bring it back into this corner. Or should set up at the line. Eaton had a chance, took it off of Roberts' stick, but got it taken away from him. Coming right in front of you, Dan, poked away by Roberts. Up to the blue line. All kept in beautifully by the Ice Wolves. Shot taken off the goaltender, rebound shot into the glove. Good job by Bour uh, Bourget there in the crease. They said they brought him up, didn't they, from Bantam, I think they said? That I don't know. Got him on the roster is 41, but he's wearing number four. So I did go check, and they said they brought him up. Hopefully this isn't his first game experience because he's going to see a lot of shots. So far, he's uh, stood the test. Dinah keeping it. Ice would steal it, bring it through center, and they turn it over there. Oh, nice board. Oh, dang, almost put him in the bench. No penalty. Nice clean shot into the boarding. Oh, now a lot of physical play on there, letting them go. I like it now. As long as they all start calling tic-tac, we'll be all right. This is going to be icing. 7.28 to go in this first period. Nice crowd over in the right stands there tonight, Dan. I, you know, we've seen a lot where this place is just packed at the windows, and it's starting to get that way today. last home game as far as I know unless they make something up his senior day yeah they, they did have one makeup game as they had I think scheduled but I don't know if they're gonna do that or not now this one goes out front and slapped hard back in and does not make it in the defense is just playing outstanding for the ice Wolves. come through center got the pass got taken down Letting them play physical, as I said, and I'm liking it. A lot of bodies getting thrown around. Inside 11 minutes to go, kept in by the Ice Wolves. Getting chased down deep here. Uh, I think that's number six, Peters. Over to Jordan Stone by the Ice Wolves. Another turnover deep in the zone. High stick up there by... Uh, I think it was his hand. I thought that stick went up there. Regardless, he didn't touch the puck, so it didn't get called. That was Bates, and I was trying to get out. McNutt back here on the back wall. 
Trying to get it back to Bates and taken off a hit stick by Ferrari. And this one's kept in by the Isolos. Picked back over here to the back side. Bates and, oh, gave chase and just sloped him into the boards. But the puck comes up. Kept in at the blue. Shot taken but goes off of Peter's skate to the back wall. And up to the blue line we go in the center. Looks like number 28, uh, Mala. And here come Nice with the with the steal. Ten minutes to go in the first. Coming down, looking. Oh, a nice pass, but could not control it. Kadikman and get taken off his stick. Green jerseys everywhere right now. Roberts clears it up to the right side. Almost kept in, but whiffed by Erdman. And it's going to go deep into the Isolus territory. It looks like Baum's going to reel that in and then kick it off to the right wall. Kept just outside the blue line. Got to let that go. Isolus pick it up, bringing it back. Nice long pass, but completely missed his player. Put it right on the stick of the green. And in the back of the net. Number 76, Ryan McMahon with the score. And that was just a bad play overall by the Ice Wolves defensively, trying to pass it out and did not even get close to his own player. Nine twenty-seven left in the first period. It's one nothing for the Green. Face off one by Isles, bringing it in, turns it over. Almost kept in, but here comes the Medina Bees again, going deep. Isles keep it. Bring it back in the center, turned over again. A lot of neutral zone uh, puck play down here so far in the first period. Isles coming, doesn't even look. Oh, it hit the post. Another half an inch to the left side, and it would have went between the skate and the pipe, but he hit all pipe. Fitzpatrick playing it on the wall now, looking, looking. Can't get the pass where he wanted it, but Whiffles one in. Straub up here defense, looking, trying to set up on the post here, and can't get it. Come around again is Fitzpatrick. Puts it up to the post. Oh, hard shot, trying to go off. Hits Bresler in the shoulder, a little high on the shot. Tries a backhand, misses to the back wall. Roberts tries to clear, and they get it out. And there's going to be a two-on-one breakaway. Three-on-one now. It'll be three-on-one. Oh, and nice job out there. little uh, slow shot goes to Rickard, and she swipes it away. Come to Ice Wolves, 8.20 to go into first. I would assume Fitzpatrick with the hair and the size, and it is with the puck right here in front of us. Oh, he tried to center. Nobody there is now. Up into the net. I want to hit a stick, I think, on on shot, and it went way up in the net. 808 to go in the first quarter. Face off one by Isles. Shot taken just wide of the pipe. McNutt over on the wall. He gets smoked, and they're going to call that a penalty on Medina. So Isles are going to end up with their first power play. Trying to see he's still holding their stick. McNutt's the one that took the hit, and I think it was Pamala with the uh, hit. And he's going to go sit in the sin bin for a couple minutes. It's only the second penalty in this game. Eight minutes to go in the first period. One on each. Isaac was a quick shot off of the faceoff. It goes over the, over the wall. Keeping it in deep. Medina steals. To get it back. A lot of ruckus over here on the wall with Kindred and company, and out they go is Medina. And they're just going to clear it, and then they do. Goes Medina's deep. been pretty good at getting the, the ball clear, or excuse me, the puck clear. See what the Isles can do at full strength. Their best scoring chances so far that they've had it was on the uh, penalty kill. Shorthanded. Oh, he shot one just wide in the net again. Baum is just giving it everything. He's getting harassed. They did everything but tackle him, and he still got a shot on goal. Another shot, and he got interfered with, but no call. And Medina clears it with a buck 15 to go in the power play. Goes all the way to the back wall. They do a line change. Get a couple fresh skaters out there. And here come the Isles again. Nice breakaway, three on two. Oh, and he got hooked from behind. No call. Didn't turn his body. Another keeper hit the back of the goal tender, tender to Dickman. Another great opportunity. Goaltender didn't even know where it was until he felt it hit him in the back. Clears all the way down, and Medina gets there first. 45 seconds left to go in the penalty, and Medina's controlling the puck shorthanded. Goes behind that, comes out far right. Going all the way up. He's just burning that time. 
is what they're trained to do. And finally, get Isles get it back, but then they lose it again. Dinah puts a shot off a record's goal pad, and then on the rebound goes right up over her left leg into the back of the net for a 2-0 lead. Short-handed goal. Six twenty-seven left to go in the first period and two goals already <laughs> for Medina Green. Medina B is green. I do believe that was McMahon that put that rebound in for the score. And this one goes high back down to the ice. Trying to see what's going on way down there. I didn't clean this on the side of this window off today. And ice wolves have it. Here they come. Still got 10 seconds left on the power play. Lost it. Lost it again. Yeah, Medina's doing a great job of not only killing this penalty, but scoring on it. Two seconds left. And see if Ice Wolves can get it together here and get a score on the board. But this one goes really almost five hole, but knocked down by the blocker. And that's going to be icing. It's coming back. The. Uh Medina's green, when they get a little distance from us, it almost looks blue. Depends on where the light is on them. Face off one by the eyes, well, it's stolen right there. Oh, nice turnover, a shot. Went in and out of the glove and then back into the glove of the goaltender. Another great scoring opportunity, but cannot get it past this goalkeeper. Wonder if this is anywhere near the one they faced last time, which I doubt. But they got it again. Oh, it shoots one from the point. Goes off the body of Dickman. And Dickman's keeping it in now. Goes to the corner. He goes down on the ice. And still fight for the puck up around the blue line. Medina comes out with it. Neutral zone shot. Going to be a... Eh, it's not much of a breakaway. Everybody's back on defense. Trying to get it out. Goes trickling the back wall behind the goal. Up to the right corner. Boy, that one just died on the boards. Boards down at that end are slow today. 5-10 left to go in the period. 2-0, Medina leads. Eisler's fighting in the corner. Medina's still controlling the puck. Up at the point, shoots it in, tries a rebound, can't get a misdirect. Stolen by the Eisler's. Here he comes. And one on two, and that don't usually favor well, so he just shot it over into the right corner, did Robinson. Medina had, oh, here comes Eisler's again. Perfect pass, perfect shot off the goaltender. Rebound in! Rebound, all oh, went in. I'm trying to see the big gentleman that shot it. Number nine. Number nine, Bresler. Wow, he was in perfect position when that rebounded off, and he just took a wild swipe right into the back of the net. 4.41 left to go in the first. It is now 2-1, to one, Medina. This is our last scheduled hockey game of the year. I don't know if they'll have another makeup next week, but I know they're going to be coming along with uh, their semi tournament play. This one goes all the way down the left corner for Medina. Ice was had one to face off and smacked it around a little until it got stolen. Trying to clear it out, cannot. A lot of just slapping at the puck right now, not really trying to control. And that's what Zini just made his little slap and almost had a nice little breakaway to Bresler. Got picked up and taken off his stick. And Ferraris get down the ice. Out skating everybody so far. Goes up to the right corner on the dump. Back behind the net again. Eisel's down there fighting for everything they can, but they're just getting slapped around. And I think we're going to get a penalty on Medina. The Eiswolf guy was arguing, so maybe they caught him for something, but he got he's the one who got hammered down to the ice. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, it's going on the ice wolves. Nope, there's another five. We got five on five, so what? No penalty. They're just gonna throw him off the ice for a minute. We'll take that. Maybe just flopped and covered the puck with his body. Could be. Ice was trying to bring it out of the zone. He makes two defenders right at the blue line and still gets away from him. Coming up, tries to just chuck one out on a pass and can't. Now they are 
Going to call a cross check on Medina. I think it put 26 on the floor. Yeah, I saw one of our guys took a nosedive. I didn't see the hit, but I'm trying to see who it was. I can see a I one. I thought it was 20. Oh, you, it was 15. Yeah, 15. That would be 15 Von Mason. Because he used to was standing there with his hands up going, huh? Yeah, yeah. What'd I do? What'd I do? Yeah. So I always get their second power play. And last time didn't go well for them. They gave one up to the shorthanded Medina. And that one should have been called on Eiswolf that time for a cross check and didn't get the call. One timer from the blue line. Caught and down. Almost rebounded in by Eiswolves. They got Dickman out there in a the great position. Tried to put one in. And here come Medina again. Clearing the zone. Still taking it off the stick. Eiswolves reel it back in. Buck and a half to go in the power play. Shoots it high up over the net. Goes into the right corner. A lot of bodies, man. It, I was about ready to say 28's about to have a breakaway, but he finally got it chicken off his stick at the last second. Kendra down here fighting. So it goes up and around, and they don't clear a cup in. A little quick one-timer went off the body of uh, Medina B. Off to the right corner we go again. Dickman with the puck. Look the pass to the corner. Oh, he does up at the point, and it just goes a little wide to the right of the net. Kept in back here, but Medina trying to clear it off to the right. Out, and just a little back turnaround slap shot to go in, and nothing going, and does clear the zone. 44 seconds left to go in the power play. 2.19 to go in the first I said a little bit ago, and I'm going to say it again. I just, To me, the Ice Wolves are trying that too many passing. That one worked well, but went right five hole and trapped between the pads. But it almost seems when they get down here that one pass too many, and that's when they're getting the turnover. I'd like to see them try to put it in the back of the net a few more times. A little earlier, anyways. 29 seconds left on the penalty. Oh, Iswell's had that one, but went right off the stick of Fitzpatrick. He had a chance at a little one-timer and just lost the puck. Cleared out by Medina. Playing in the neutral zone. Are the eyes wheels bringing it up? Oh, stolen away again. Kept, got it back. Referee skate got it. Oh, that was just outside the net, but the goaltenders gloved her down. 11 seconds left to go in the penalty. 149 left to go in the period. Sorry, didn't mean to That's cut okay. you off. One by the eyes was passed back into the back wall. Straw giving chase, tries to center, goes off the post. Back out, oh, nope, kept in the zone. Up into the right corner, are the eyes was, and just bouncing off the stick after stick, and Kent just knocked her down deep. Or Medina, I should say. Buck 31 left on the icing, back to the circle for the faceoff. Kent was that amazing win a couple weeks ago. I'm still lost in that one. Yep. Well, we had like, like seven seconds left or something like that in that game and uh, called an icing. Basically game over, but called, called it icing shorthanded. I don't know. Uh, yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> well, well, I, I it's all over. We won. They won. Yeah. I looked at the rule and I put it on the, on the screen for people to see. This one goes back to Rickers. She just swiped it to the back wall, going to the left side. A minute 10 left to go in the first. Iceville's trailing two to one, trying to get something going here. I think they should just go out and get themselves called for a penalty. They seem to be a lot better shorthanded, but here we go with the breakaway. Fitzpatrick looking, leaves it back and got it stolen again. Just that one too many times. He should have just took it to the hole. And now he's looking to get off the ice with 47 seconds to go. Iceville's struggling over on the right board, one on three. And won it for a second, but here comes Medina again, knocking it deep. Giving chase to Solomon for the Ice Wolves, bringing it around the left. 30 seconds left to go in the first, and don't. You see, they swipe it. Oh, beautiful chance up in front again. Rebound, rebound, and it's just going all over. Erdman had a great opportunity. So did Eaton, and just could not get it on goal. And gets cleared up to the blue line and out of the zone. Trying to knock it back in with Solomon. And 
A lot of physical play with three seconds left. There's two, one, and that is going to be the end of the first period. Score 2-1. Medina B's green. Face off one by the Icewolves. Try to go in deep, got it slapped off the stick again. All right, Medina, they just they love throwing them sticks in there, even just to knock it away. It's not doing a whole lot of anything, but just slapping at the puck. And it works. Yes, it does. Now deep is Straub for the Icewolves, but can't get it in. Oh, it's kept in at the line, though. Uh, Sturzinger playing the defensive part on the blue line. Looks like Robinson on the right side, and he can't keep it in. Goes right past his stick. Turn around, trying to dump it back. Turns it over deep in his own end. Can't be doing that. And Oh, great job down there by Sturzinger on defense. Had a great break with a shot there on the turnover, and he just knocked it right off of their tape. Just Patrick fighting on the wall. It's there's a straw who rockets one into the glove of the goaltender. Oh, the torque on that stick made some noise, didn't it? Yeah, I could feel it over here. I love slowing them down and seeing how far them sticks bend when they torque them. Face off deep that end. Cut by the ice wheels. Turned over. Oh, one timer from the blue line. Just wider than that. I mean, he wasn't off by much. Over in the left corner now, this little fighting. Come on, kick the puck loose. Let's go. Still in the puck. Ruckus. Oh, out it comes. There it goes. Goes flopping around. Back wall. Brought in by Bruzzler. Tries to pass it out. Goes right to the stick of the Medina. Oh, stolen at the blue line. Great job by Baum. I could hear that one hit the back wall on the shot, and that wasn't Baum. Sorry, that was McNutt, 26. I heard the, I heard that crack that glass. Need to get them pucks down. They are shooting high. They shot high down here. There was a trip there by Medina, and now it's called. I'm not sure, but I think that was on 42. Begovic. 2-1 is the Medina lead. Medina B is green. Well, Ice Wolf need to get this out of their end quick. Uh, they gave up one goal sh why they were on the power play. and They need to keep the pressure down there and not let it into their end because Medina showed they can score shorthanded also. And they try to clear. Kept in by the Ice Wolves. The, now trying to clear it out against Medina, and they do. Get back up in and think that's eaten with the puck as yeah, he gets bounced off it. Every time a white stick is near that puck, there's usually two green jerseys, and I can't understand how somebody's not open. A little backward pass, tries to get it up the blue line and can't. Here comes Medina breaking away. Chucked out of there by Solomon again, doing that great job on defense. And he's just got perfect timing when it comes to hitting that puck. Yeah, here we go with the with the power play, coming back down deep. Shoots it high again, high right, right into the glass. Rebounded a couple times and now cleared out of the zone. And he is just so close, you can hear it hit the post and then the glass. That was a rocket coming off the tape. Baum trying to get it up and does, goes to Straub. Straub's coming down hard. Oh, he could have shot it right there and he, he chose to dump it off. Takes it into the corner, tries to center it for Fitzpatrick, who just whiffed on the shot and cleared out by Medina again. Solomon coming around, gets taken off his tape momentarily and gets going again. He's not gonna take it from coast to coast, and then he just goes to the right and tries to dump one back in and nothing going to F Fitzpatrick. This one gets whiffed out of the zone again, and here comes Medina. It's going to be a two on goalie, and she comes up. Rickard stands up, knocks that away, and then cleared out by a defense. Here we go again, shooting down the field is Straub in, or I should say ice. To me, the ice is the field. And here comes Medina again, one on one. Sturzinger needs to get the defense going, and he does. Keeps it just wide of Rickard out of the glass. Fitzpatrick with a forearm, that should have been whistled. 
Well, I heard a whistle. They, they whistled at that, but he should have got the penalty. Yeah, he put him in the glass with the forearm and knocked the helmet and the face mask all over. I agree. <laughs> yeah, one of the uh, other fans over here is saying exactly what you said. Well, they took him off the ice. One, two, three, four, five. They're going to face us off up at the blue line, but I don't understand how that wasn't a penalty, let alone a 10. But I'd have to watch it on film more, but I thought it was a shot to the head into the glass also. 11 minutes to go in the second. Sturzinger clearing it around. Can't get it out of the zone. It just at the blue line and finally, nope, still not out. McNutt finally got it into the neutral zone. Back to Robinson. He's going to try to clear it up to the blue, and he does. Turned over again to neutral. Oh, here we go. Got a little breakaway down there with Bresler, and maybe it wasn't Bresler. Maybe that was Bateson. Nine and five looked pretty close from this distance. This one was just lofted up deep by Robinson, and the goaltender had to wipe it away. Still kept in, but here comes Medina. Left to right, knocked away again down there by Bateson, and he's got, well, he had an opportunity, but then he lost it again. So he goes up to the wall and then dumped back in. Sturzinger with the dump. And then Bateson down there trying to get it at the wall, and he got out skated and out played. Out of the zone again. Sturzinger going to collect it up on the right wall, and then he turns it over, dumped in deep. Robinson going to collect it up. Goes off the wall and into the neutral zone. Have to come back and set, but they just knock it to the back wall. Instead of setting, just put it in. Robinson has it, goes off a skate on the way out of the zone. Somebody uh, just came over the boards for the line change and kicked the puck. That helped him a lot. Nine, a little over nine and a half to go here in the second. Sturzinger giving chase to the corner. Bateson gets a hold of it, and out he goes. Tries a long pass, and nobody there but Green, and... That Dickman to come in? Yes, it is. Dickman's got it. Gets yanked off the puck again. Takes the shot and into the glove. They need to get away the, away from the glove side of that goalie if they plan on doing anything. He's doing a fine job. He has number four on his jersey, but he's actually number 41, supposedly, and that's Bourget. Oh, one timer from the from the uh, point goes wide up left and into the back wall. Kept in by the Eiswolf so far. The Dyna has control now from left to right. A lot of uh, see. There's just another one of those things they do. Just reach out and swipe it at the blue line to keep it in. Good job there by Baum. Chasing the corner by Solomon, but he's going to drop back to the line. Dinah has it again, tries to go up high and does. Gets it down into this end. It's not going to be icing. They waved it off. Dinah got there first anyway, but Solomon with it. Takes it away, gets it up to Eaton, who can't control it. But Dinah brings it back into the corner and knocked back away by our eyes wolves again. Eight and a half to go in the second period. Dickman trying to get it out of the zone and can't. Erdman and the defender just standing there. Solomon finally clears it. Up to Eaton, and Eaton loses it momentarily and reeled in by number seven, Roberts for Medina. Oh, Solomon down there just giving it everything he can, and he just can't get anything going momentum-wise. Fitzpatrick with it, and he's got to spin around a few times. Can't get the shot off. Just everything getting smacked around by Medina. All they do is wing them sticks everywhere. Line change, you got a chance for the breakaway, and they're just like not going hard. There he goes, and he gets it taken off the stick on the shot. Baum gave her, gave her a shot, but just couldn't get it going. They had him caught basically shorthanded as heck because four were off, four were coming on, and the puck was on the other side of the ice, and they were not paying attention. This one gets dumped in, goes a little high, and gloved again by the goaltender. 7.28 to go in the second period. It's 2-1. Medina Green Bees are up over the Fremont Ice Wolves. Yeah, it seems like um, 
it, just in my opinion, it seems like that the bees are hanging close at times. I mean, they're 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 very quick to get back to where they need to be to block. We had a little ruckus there, and bodies flying in front of the goaltender. But here comes Medina with the puck to our end. Uh, they're taking some high cheap shots on the boards over there, but it must be legal. Fitzpatrick with the puck now, trying to get it out of the zone, and does. Goes away over to Sturzinger, who turns it back over. Now they have it back again. Dump. Oh, nice shot right into the chest plate. His straw was going to break it down into the corner. Before losing it, now Medina comes up with it again. Just trying to shoot through his own. And big old body shot there by Sturzinger. I think he took more than he gave, but it worked. Puck's going to trickle back here. Robinson grabbed it up for no icing. Got a Sherborn out there. Get a little contact real quick. And I got a, I don't know what line this is, but Medina's not playing it hard, and Eiswolves are looking a little tired. Getting tired of them sticks getting slapped all over, and I don't know where the puck went. Must have won in the equipment or something. I didn't see it. Six twenty-two left in the second period. Two-one Medina over Fremont. Kindred in wins the face-off. Iso's going to control it at the blue line. Sturzinger going to dump it in deep. A little dump and chase, but they keep losing those. So I don't know why they keep doing it. Now the puck comes back to the side. Just stuck at Sturzinger, just sticking that stick in there and poking it away every time somebody tries to get a hold. Had it in the center, couldn't get the shot off. A lot, a lot of body contact. Now we got one grabbing up a, an offender and uh, no call. Robinson had it and lost it. Turnover here and shot taken. Rickard up to the challenge. Knocks it into the corner. The only one over there wanting to play right now is Jordan. He's all over it. And this one trickled right through the five hole into the back end of the net. 39. That would be, how'd they pronounce that? Syriac, number 39. Syriac, and uh, that makes it a 3-1 lead for Medina with 5.34 to go in the second period. Iswells don't seem to be playing with a whole lot of urgency from what I can tell. They're only three points up on uh, the third place team and four points up on this team. Definitely do not want to fall down any farther. You're in second place. You want to kind of keep that. This, the way you keep that is you come back and win this game. You still got five minutes, five minutes to go in this period, and a uh, whole another period to go. You need to buckle down. But they're not playing like they have any urgency, like they were in the first period. Rickard can only do so much in goal, and she's been doing a great job. Another high shot just over the goaltender's arm. Trying to clear it out of the zone. Medina, Medina's playing like this is an elimination playoff game for him. Nizos are just like, okay, well, we're going to make the playoffs. Let's just kind of goof. Take it all the way in, put in the net, and I don't think they got the goal. I think the goaltender did get it scooped up. So 438 left to go in the second. Face off to come. We're videotaping this on Sunday, February 6, 2022, at the Fred W. Rectum Mall Ice Arena. One by the Ice Wolves. Shot in, goes to the back wall. Off to the left side. Medina collects it up and brings it out of the zone. Nice pass off the stick, but going to be reeled back in. And nice defensive play by Solomon throwing that body. And they're going to call him for penalty? Wait a minute. Can't be calling Solomon because he come diving in and he touched nobody. But they're calling a cross check on somebody. 66 throw out. Yeah, I didn't see it. I was too busy watching Solomon doing the you're not shooting slide. 
Who's going into the circle is Dickman for the faceoff. And they clear the zone. Shorthanded, this is where they usually excel. Nice defensive play in front of Rickard. Solomon just did a fantastic job. There's more of a sense of urgency when you're down. They really aren't playing with one, though. Like, it's almost like after the, uh, once it was 2-0, it's just like they played to get a goal, and then that, that was it. They haven't really, oh, we're down by two. Let's play hard. No, it's just like lollygagging, taking too many passes, not shooting it. See if they can't get something shorthanded. They're down in that end where they want to be shorthanded. They're usually very efficient. I broke a stick down here right in front of you on my left. A broken stick there. down there, and another broken stick down in front of the Eiffel's goal uh, bench. Did a good job there momentarily at the other end to kill off a minute, but they didn't get any real shots. Nice clearing, and this one's going to go right to the goaltender. Actually has to play it. 52 seconds left in the power play for Medina. I want to see Eiffel step up that intensity shorthanded like they did a few weeks ago, and they're really good at doing, but they're not... Like I said, they're just kind of ho-humming tonight. And today, Solomon missed it. Little whiff, three in front. Just letting these guys set up and do what they want. They're not forcing the issue. Set up at the blue line, looking for a wrist, and gets it, but goes off the players into the upper netting. Face-off will be in the circle to our left. 2.44 left to go in the second period. We got both sticks off the ice. Hang on. Oh. They figured it out. The oh, blade was the blade was stuck under the door. Yeah. Now at least now we know how it got broke. <laughs> this is a bad area in this corner. We've seen weird bounces and all kinds of things down here the last several years. But Dina keeps it in. 20 seconds left. That took a funky bounce right up in front of goal, but got knocked away by a defense. Up at the point, looking, sliding. He's going to dump it back in the corner. The penalty kill unit's doing a good job but not forcing the issue like they normally do. Sturzinger over on the right, trying to keep him in the corner, but that's just killing off the penalty. McNutt with the steal and the clear. Beautiful. As time ran out on the penalty. And they call icing. <laughs> Short-handed. Well, the penalty was up, but I... Didn't, I didn't think it was up before he hit it. It is what it is. We'll take this one. I wasn't looking at the clock when he hit it, so I can't say yeah. it was all the way out or it not. It was close enough. That's their job, not mine. So 2-12 left to go in the second. Eyes will desperately need a score here soon. Um, 3-1. Patrick Wood dumps it in deep. The only one given any kind of chase is in a green jersey. Everybody's just kind of laying back. Dine tries to clear left to right, or right to left, and it just died. Kept in. Nope. Left. Got it out of the zone and into the bench. Minute 43 left. Second period. 3-1. Medina over Fremont. Both of these teams in the national divisions of the Cleveland Hockey League. And this one off the faceoff goes back in the bench again. But it was hit far enough in the zone that it should go back there to the circle. Not the, yep, they are going back there. That was a good, a good out of bounds by the Ice Wolves to keep it a little deeper in the zone. It goes up and dump back in from the blue line. Man, that was weak. I don't know if it's the rubber on the wall or just the shot that he made, but <coughs> that's a weak one into the corner. Down there, I think that's Kindred fighting for it, and out it comes. On a Medina stick. Nice long pass, but we do have a defender there. Going to try to ride him in, and they try a centering pass, but nothing going. Closest one to it was the Ice Wolf, and they can't, can't get anything going on that. He finally clears his own. This one's going to go far right corner. 
Herzinger's going to reel it in. Line change again by Medina. The Little Giants could have had him caught in the middle of the change again and wasn't paying attention. Whistle blown and they took a shot, which you're not supposed to do, but 59.4 left to go in the second. And she still made the save even though it's not going to count. Face off one by Medina. Here they come. Robinson in there to knock it away. A good job. This one's got room up the left for Dickman, and all he does is dump it. Just Patrick reels it in and meets three green jerseys. How can nobody be there to assist when you have three green jerseys on your skater and you're not there to help? All he's got to do is dump it. Somebody should be open, and they're not even trailing the play. 35 seconds left in the period and knocked out of there, and it should be icing if they let it go. And he does get Dyson to also back deep. 28.8 seconds left in the second. Zamboni's getting fired up. The 28.8 seconds, you'll see a mad rush to the bathrooms because there's yeah. like 90 degrees in there. He'll be going to warm up. Face off one by the eyes. Well, shot taken and goes high glove side. Or no, that was stick side. They need to get that down a little bit on that stick side because his glove is deadly on the left hand. Cleared out by Medina. Another boarding call that didn't get called. I mean, that was another. He didn't go to the head that time, but we'll let that one go. And both those shots have been by Fitzpatrick. And they might have a talk with him at intermission and they wave off icing and that is the end of the second period. Scores Medina, B's green, three, and Fremont Ice Wolves, one. Well, we are ready for the third <coughs> period. 3-1. You, you were going to say quarter. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to use a different term. <laughs> well, Ice Wolves controlling this so far. Just dump one down here on the goal. I was going to say the third half. That's what the, the Magliazzi brothers used to say. Yeah, well, you know me, after football ends, I usually end up here going quarter, quarter. All right, this one's collected up, keep it in the neutral zone, drop it down and off the stick, but here we go again, and he just too much covered up by the goaltender. What did you tell me about the uh, goaltender? I was just talking with his mother outside. He uh, is a freshman. He used to play different positions, but he wants to be a goalie. And yes, he has been on the team this year. He just missed the last time these two played. He was from an area he couldn't get to the game. We had a lot of snow. So he is quite deadly with his gloves. And Iswell's fighting it down in the corner, bringing it out. It's knocked around a little bit. It's got room. Let's see if they try that way too many passes again. But nope. Brings it in, double chucks on it, and right into the glove again. As I said, they need to get away from his glove. He is so deadly. Mr. Bourget. I could give you some more information, but I won't do it while the mics are on. <laughs> so I'll probably mess it up. Well, Ferrari decided to uh, blow a tire there for a second. <laughs> yeah. That's a little skid on the ice. Puck just getting slapped around, tried to get one in the goal, but it went off the stick of the defender and down. Oh, Puma takes a dive. Little Giants McNutt, or Little Giants. Ice was McNutt kept it going and taking away from him now. Goes down in deep, picked up by Solomon. From right to left. Oh, nice pass out to the blue line. And just going to dump it in and give a chase. Comes to the back wall, taken away. Oh, Kindred had it, tried to put one up in front, but taken off his tape again. Hard shot up from the point, taken away. McNutt had a chance at the rebound shot and just whiffed on it. Puck was bouncing and spinning. Hard one to get a hold of, but Solomon chases all the way to the other end before taking the dive. Couldn't tell if he got pulled down or not, but he went down and Baum was fighting for it. Gets it off to the left side wall. Looks like it's going to come up to the point. Gets knocked back in, and Ice Wolves control it again. Big, long stick there. Just dumps one in on the goaltender. Tried to go. 
tried to go five hole and he just pinched his leg shut and held it with the pads. Nice little blocker save. Jordan in the face-off circle for Medina and wins it. This was keeping in the zone though. Goes behind that. Tries a little quick shot up to the front at Erdman. Trying to get at the Eden to stick and couldn't get the job done. Erdman over on the right side wall. Kicks it back behind the net. Giving chase to Dickman. Let's it go. Comes back this way again. And Medina's just playing with their shorts are on fire and Eyes Wolves are like half playing. They need to step up. You only got a little under 12 and a half minutes to get this thing tied up and get a win or go to overtime. They're just not, doesn't seem to have the fire they normally have. This one's kicked away again by Bourget. Up through the zone goes number 10. That is Alley, Jeffrey Alley. This one comes trickling back into the Medina zone. Right side up to the neutral zone left. Stolen by the Eiswolves. Nice place to get the turnover. He's going to take it himself. Goes stick side. Gets nothing but net. Does Robinson. Picking up by Fitzpatrick. He's got the same shot. Goes high. Just high through the crease. Up left side. Kept in by the Eiswolves. Little, little kicker pad save there by Bourget. Cleared out of the zone. And that's going to be icing. Going to come right back down here. Right side circle. You had mentioned there are a lot of people in the stands. A lot of people here have watched the game today. I said there was more coming in there around the glass all the way from here, from about six feet from me, all the way around to the stands. And more over by the fireplace. Yes. <clears throat> Puck bouncing around. Fitzpatrick was just waiting for somebody to bounce it out of the pile so he'd get a hold of it, and he couldn't. He's going to go from right to left. And uh, here comes Medina. That is number two. Tarnowski takes it all the way down. Another save by Rickert. Puck is floating around, but they're finally going to whistle it dead. I think that was a little bit way late on the whistle. Well, 11 minutes. A little over 11 minutes to play. Medina's up 3-1. That was Pumala number 28 for Medina down there. Just causing all kinds of havoc along with number two, Tarnowski. Well, Medina won that face off. Shot in on record, another save, rebound save. Puck goes to the left side wall. Cleared out, tried to clear out the Dyes Wolves. That was number nine, Bresler again, and just can't get it out of the zone. Medina can smell this victory and uh, Eyes Wolves need to start smelling blood in the water and get this thing going. Had a few nice chances down here, but just can't get it into the net. Rickard with another save, and there's a cross check right into the goaltender. 10.39 left to go in the third. I don't see him calling a penalty on anything, but we have another face off right side. Face off one by the Eyes Wolves. Take it behind the net. I think that's Baum with it. I'm looking to get it out. Nice pass out to center. In comes the oh, and he whiffed on it. It came right off the tape. Kindred had a nice chance and just couldn't keep it on the tape. And here comes Medina again trying to extend that two point lead. Puts one in. Rickard with another save. Rebound out. Hard shot from up at the blue line and she cuffs her in the chest. Another save for the young lady. Off one by Medina. Back wall. This little dump back there. Another shot goes in on Kinder or uh, Rickard. Rickard again. <laughs> knocked out. There's another face off. This one, Eyes was getting finally cleared out of the zone. Dumped back in by Medina. 
And Eisler collected up, dumping in. Gets a nice little shot up against the board. McNutt down here giving chase, takes it away from Shermerhorn, knocks it to the wall. A little scuffle over there, Shermerhorn trying to get it out. He comes to, no, that's not, that's Robinson that comes in and pokes it away. McNutt coming in to take it away, and they take it off of Shermerhorn's stick, and oh, here comes Medina. Through the neutral zone, nice long pass. But I don't think he's going to get a pass Sturzinger down there, and he doesn't think he has to pull up on the brakes. Eisler was trying to clear, cannot get it past the big body of number 95 for Medina. He's keeping it in deep. 9.15 left to go in the third. Medina holding on to that two point lead, 3 to 1. A whole lot more trying to jam it in past Rickard on the right pole there, and they can't get it in, and they're going to whistle this one dead. Be a face off right circle. Nine minutes to go, 9.03. Still 3-1, Medina. Face off into the right corner. Medina has control. Tries to stick it up there side real quick. Goes back behind, and he's up front again. Just nice defense down there by the Ice Wolves, and here they come through the zone. Three on one. Nova. Oh, and he gets away from all. Hard shot right into the chest. Dickman comes out with a puts it in front, got a nice shot, go! Go on front, a beautiful shot. I'm gonna put the guess at Eaton on the one who was up there in the front and stuck that thing in the back of the net. That's how you set it up and uh, Ice Wolves uh, younger team and coach down here just a screaming and beating on glass. 8.39 left to go in the third, now we have a one, one goal game. One one by Medina off to the right side wall. Dumps her down. Picked up nice pass by Eyes with a wrong stick. Goes on to Medina again. Roberts tries to clear and does. Up around the right side of Erdman with it. And lets it go back in. Coming up to the back wall, around her in front of us. Give a nice job in there by can't see who that is, but Icewood did a great job keeping it, and this one clears. They're going to wave icing off. Erdman's trying to get there first, and does. Gets his puck knocked away from him. Scoring opportunity for Medina. Taken away by the defense. Pucks to the right wall. Inside eight minutes to go. Oh, and he went head first. That's going to be... I thought he was going to get up and start throwing punches, but <laughs> they let that one go. Even the rough one flying in there. Yeah, you don't want to do stuff like that because if you're going into tournament play, it could hurt you. See if they get the penalty or not. Looks like. Nope. 7.55 left to go. 3-2, Medina leads. Icewolves win the face off. Started to bring it down. Got it poked away. Control back again. Long pass right onto the green stick. And Medina dumps her back in left side. They give chase. Back out of the zone again. And here we have a one on three again. See if he can get the pass across or not. But he puts it in glove side. And that's not going to work. This young man is deadly with that glove. Straub tried. Just couldn't get a pass. And like I said, that glove side is not their friend. He tried to come down the other side of the ice, knocked away by Rickard, and the rebound comes back to her from the back wall, covers it up to 7-17. like to see him try to get down the, our right side of the ice, their left, and try to go stick side on this young man. As I've said and you've seen, Dan, that glove is just ugly. You're not getting by it. Face off to the right side wall. Medina keeps it in at the point. Brings it in down deep. Behind the goal is a green jersey. Trying to set up in front again. And another shot defensively taken away. So Rickard didn't have to defend. This one gets knocked in and out of the bench area. So we'll have another face off in that area. 7.02 to go. 3-2 Medina. 
<clears throat> We're videotaping this on Sunday, the 6th of February, 2022. Fred W. Rechtenwald Ice Arena in Fremont. With a whole lot of snow on the ground and a whole lot of cold in the building. We like it. Yes. Cleared out of the zone by the ice rolls, but could not get there to give Chase enough to break anything away. Bruzzler with it. Gives a nice pass across the ice and just bring it up through. Defenseman tries, but can't, so he just dumps it to the back. Comes over here in front of me. Picked up by Peters. Dickman giving fight for it. Marnowski brings it out. And kept in up at the blue. Oh, kept in beautifully, but then lost it. And Medina has a breakaway. They're going to have a one on two. Nope, he just dropped it off to the wall. Let the line change. Still still hate the fact the Isos gave up two great opportunities for breakaways during line changes in that second. This cannot be icing. He hit it. He hit it with the stick. Even Straub's like, what? It went off my stick. It is what it is with 6.05 to go in the third. Looking for that tying goal. Let's get up to at least 30 degrees today, maybe 32. Maybe outside. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But I'm wearing less clothes than I had to wear last time we were here. It was good to see so many uh, people in here on the ice before the game. Yes. Enjoying it with their families. Well, I was had control for a minute. It went off the stick of Fitzpatrick, but I think they were going to be offsides. So he just let it go and went back to the zone like, you know, they weren't even trying. Here we go again. Medina still putting pressure, dumps it in deep, and that's going to be Ising, so that'll come back here in front of us. Three to the score. Medina leading with 5.34 to go. Face off one by the eyes, low shot up at the point, but goes off of two defender sticks, cleared off to the right side, kept in by Robinson. Oh, then he takes it back out and dumps it. Can't play that one, gotta let that go. 522 left to go. Roberts just whiffed on the puck, trying to skate out with it. He was real lucky and McNutt and Straub weren't a little bit closer. His little backhand pass, gets it back into the Eisworth's area. Going down deep, Jordan giving chase. Eisenhower's try to clear it, cannot kept in at the blue line by Roberts. Off to the right side, here come the Eisenhower's, and Fitzpatrick tried, just went off the stick a little bit too far. He's trying to pass it to himself, I think, again. Eisenhower's giving chase on the right wall. Medina dumps it back in deep with 4.44 to go. They're just trying to kill that clock. They do not want to give up the tying goal. Eisel is now starting to actually play with a little urgency. Four and a half to go. Not enough, though, because Medina has the puck more than they're having it. Dump it in again. Well, that's they, the way it started out. Medina's just controlled the puck the whole, t whole game. Like I said, they've been playing with more urgency, just like that bad turnover right there, and that shot goes into Rickard. He's got to knock it away. Medina's still just down there and sticking it away like they're doing everything they can to keep it in. But that would have been offside, so they're going to do a line change and let it chase down. Four minutes to go in the game. And here come the eyes with one on, and he fumbled it up again and turned it over in the neutral zone. And Medina's just going to drop it back in deep again. Solomon giving chase behind, gets taken up to the right wall. And the defense right now for Medina is just playing outstanding in the center. Here comes Eisler again, one on four. Shot taken, goes high, look outside. Oh, Dickman whiffed on the goal tie, the game tying score. He backhanded one wide open backside net and just missed every bit of that rubber puck. Wow, you know he wants that one back. Turnover in the center. Here comes Medina again, he's gonna have a shot. Rickard covers it up, and the rebound gets knocked off the left side wall, but Medina defense knocks it back in deep again. Solomon back to play it on the back wall, tries to pass, turns it over. Not where you want to turn it over, but Rickard did another great save. Another shot taken, another kick save inside, three to go. 
Islands need to get something on in the net here to get this game tied up. But Medina's just going to dump it deep again. No icing. The only one giving chase right now is Jordan. And they just, you know, they got the good name, Bees. They just swarm every time that puck get, it gets on Islands' stick. There's two, three, four green jerseys at it. Oh, nice setup and another another miss by Eaton. Boy, Eaton had another backside net shot wide open and just couldn't stick it in there. Stick save that time. Fitzpatrick still up there, tries to put one in front, goes way too far left. This is gonna be icing. It's gonna come right back in front of us. Well, Wade, we're down to two minutes and eight seconds. And trailing by one goal, like I said, they need to turn up the heat a little bit, and they try to tried somewhat there, but I just don't get the the low volume on their intensity right now. They're just taking wax. And then when you miss two wide open backside shots, that hurts. Oh, out of the zone. Isaac's going to have to try to get everybody on side, and they do, and then it goes right back out of the zone again. Like I said, Medina just throwing sticks everywhere, and it's working. That's just frustrating every time you try to do something, and they just poke it right off of your tape. Got to get away. Been done offsides. Robert reels it in. Goes up the right side wall, kept in by Sturzinger. Checking the run on the wall, comes out to a green stick. It goes right past both of the ice holes. Roberts rolls it in. Coming back through, he gets taken off of his stick and to go deep into the Fremont end where they're going to try to center one up. Nice scoring opportunity and nice save by Rickard twice. Another turnaround goes behind the board. And all they want to do is just keep it busy down there. Like Tarnowski's doing, burn clock. You're down to a minute five. They don't even have to put one in. All they got to do is keep playing the puck and playing, you know, keeping it active inside of a minute. Eisewitz need to go up there and start, you know, going after these guys, playing with some intensity, and they're just letting them lollygag around down there. Going up to the blue line, but can't get it out of the zone. Takes one into the Medina player, and it goes right back into the Eisewitz end. They're almost playing like they're going to win, but they're actually down by one. Need to get down here and... Couldn't even get a shot off, just rolled off the end of his blade. Goes back to the right side. Roberts is just playing lights out also tonight. Almost got in by the eyes. Rose could not. Roberts gets it, knocks it back, but turns it over. Down to 21 seconds left and wide open net. They pulled the goalie and they put one right in the back of the net. Nobody paying attention that they pulled the goalie. Well, the score. Where the Bees lost to Fremont was 4-2, and it looks like they're going to turn it around this time. Well, they have the, the different goaltender in this game, and instead of being down 4-2, he's been lights out with that glove. Been really good. Although his defensive unit has been just outstanding, he has been a step above with that left-handed glove. Hard shot right up and off. I think he actually hit him in the glove when he shot it. That was beautiful. Five seconds left to go. And a little Eaton down here fighting. Dickman trying to get it out. And that's going to be the end of the hockey game. Medina. Medina Bees Green takes this one. 4-2. Final score, 4-2. I'm Dan Henney for Everyday Productions, and with me today is Wade Parker. Go Blue. Thanks a lot, Wade, for being here, as usual. Hey, thanks for having me. Hope you join us right here again next time. <laughs>